Good morning, Uncle Buck. I have information here regarding a certain mutual acquaintance named uh, Breckenridge. Stand up when a lady comes into the room, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, I've come to bring back star quality. I'll be right with you, boys. Get your resumes out. There's more where that came from. Bend over the table. I want to take your temperature. But not there. Certainly there. <laughs> okay. What's your name, honey? Myra Breckenridge. During the decade between 1935 and 1945, no unimportant film was made in the United States. I can't relate to her. Huh. We can see it through together, Uncle Buck. Why as partners? Partners? <laughs> oh, and uh, don't forget to remind me of the policeman's balls. I mean, the police show. Well, I'm certain that regular attendance in my classes will help even the most limited intelligence. Wait a minute. What do you mean by limited intelligence? <laughs> Aha! Gotcha! Keep ringing the judge's chambers. He sleeps there between sessions. Well, never mind how I know. Where are my tits? Where are my tits? Uh, honey, that is simply wonderful. Hmm. Uh, strike that. Uh, it's not me. In Tarzan and the Amazons, 1945. Tarzan and the Amazons? You mean you like that? As I've just indicated, it was a masterpiece. But it's trash. I mean, there isn't a single moment of truth. I mean, it's not, uh, real. Whatever real means, is that necessarily good? Could the real Christ have possessed a fraction of the radiance of H.B. Warner in the first King of Kings, or Jeffrey Hunter in the second? What in hell is that woman talking about? A Federico Fellini, the great director, tell me to look you up. Oh, Fellini. Oh, yes. He's my friend. Mm. Did he say look me up or eat me up? Well, if I spend my valuable time on you, it's because I feel you have a glimmer of potential talent. And I'm trying to help you walk like normal people. I've never heard of any of these people. But my dear, they were unique. Truly mythic. Why, the Andrews sisters really did roll out that barrel. And no one yet has ever rolled it back. Girls and things come by the dozen, that ain't nothing but bucks for loving. Good look at thing, let me light your candle, cause baby, I'm sure how to handle, mm, yes I am. And movie stars are like gods and goddesses. When one fades, another promptly takes its place because the human race requires that the pantheon always be filled. But I'm just studying at the academy to be with Rusty. I just want to get married and settle down. Oh. Uh, to fulfill yourself as a woman, no doubt. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, it's only natural. Natural? What is normal? <laughs> well, it's what everyone does. I mean, it's what the majority of society does most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't care about your credits as long as you're oversexed. Oh, that's one of my credits. Now then, bottoms up. You know, I think all the gay boys are going to take the business over. There's no more studs around anymore. Everyone's popping pills and uh, smoking grass. Oh, you've got no. such lovely boobs. They're no. such a comfort to me. No. Also, I'm pleased to hear you're a fighter, because this uh, Meyer Breckenridge is more than a match for most men, more than a match. Well, I'll do my best, Uncle Buck. And? 
If my best isn't good enough, well, that's too bad. Not quite, Charlie, not quite. If your best ain't good enough, you might just well pack up and move to Milwaukee. Who was ever really even married to that fag? That student was a classic stage lab, delivered so as to give the impression that the subject has been hit very hard in the mouth. Oh, Mr. Loner, you're the only one I have left to turn to. Oh, we was Saturday afternoon for the whole world. Till our time of pictures just rode off in the sunset. And what's taking our place? I'll tell you what, perversion. Right. That's what's taking our place. Right. Communist perverts turning out filth. When you two lovebirds are finished, perhaps you'll tell me what lousy, dirty trick you're up to now. But having raped Rusty's manhood, I must now complete the cycle and seduce his girl. Only then will my victory be complete. Thus exuding power over both sexes, and indeed over life itself. Guess I'm full of hoes. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. Men, they're all alike. Love isn't always a matter of sex, you know. Well, I know, and I really do love you as you are. I even like it when you touch me. America, I love you. You're like a sweet heart of mine. From ocean to ocean, for you my devotion is touching each boundary line. Just like a little baby climbing its mother's knee. America. I won't spend a sou. I just want to spend one hour with you. Breckenridge, whom no man will ever possess. <laughs>